Hi YouTube, Fifi Fan here, and in this video I'll be going over tips and tricks. Uh, I'll do a demo, do a mulligan, so I'll talk about my imaginary gifts and some alternatives as well. Um, getting starting here, uh, get it started here. I have key cards. Uh, these are the three most important cards in the deck here, um, and these are post clan collection, um, same as my uh, deck profile. Uh, starting first, I'll go over uh, Water Lily Mustard Tear Ruth. I talked, I talked a bit about her in my deck profile as well. Um, by the way, if you have not seen the deck profile, before you look at this, go back and watch the deck profile. I'll probably have a link somewhere in my description. Um, so I talked about her, you know, just a bit in my deck profile. Um, she's your primary ride target. If you, uh, if you don't have, uh, well, she's your primary ride target uh, as far as great ones goes. Uh, if you go first, she gives you one plant token. If you go second, she gives you two plant tokens. And she's also your counter charger, so she, uh, she's a part of your engine. Your counter charge engine. Um, second, we have uh, Lycoris Musketeer Saw here. Um, when this is placed on VR, if you're a Vanguard, uh, if you have a Vanguard or Musketeer in this name, your soul best one and retire or rear guard, look up the top three. Choose up to one unit among them and call it to R. Put the rest at the bottom of your deck, and if you call it Trigger, you can counter blast one and then activate all effects with Trigger. Um, uh, another really important card, uh, you won't be able to proc your Vanguard, your, you won't be able to proc your Vanguard's full effect without this card. So this is really, really, really important here. Um, you know, this is not your grade two primary ride target. So you want to try to keep these in hand if you can. If, you know, if not, you can, you can still use the effect, you know, you can, uh, Soul Blast one and retire a plant token or whatever rear guard you have here and then activate a trigger effect if you get one from your search. Um, but generally, you want to try to keep this um, into your grade three turn so it matches very well. I mean, so you can proc your Vanguard's full effect. Um, here we have uh, Lycris Musketeer Vera. Uh, Counter Blast 1 and Retire 2 Rear Guards. Choose two cards uh, from your drop and then put them at the bottom of your deck in any order. Look at, look at uh, five cards from the top of your deck. Choose two of the units among them and call them to R. Shuffle your deck. If you call two Musketeer cards, you get plus one drive. Also continuous on Vanguard, if your opponent's Vanguard is greater or greater, and you have Lycris Musketeer Saul on, on, in your front row, all of your front row units get the power that this unit gets from Trigger's effect this turn. So, you know, you won't be able to proc this full effect unless you have Saul. So that's why Saul is just really important. Um, if you do happen to mill him, you know, doing grade two for whatever reason, you want to call it to the back. Um, just to have him for a grade three for your grade three turn. Um, I do know there are clans out there that can snipe him, but you know, just to mitigate, you know, being rammed into, I normally put it in the back row into a grade three. Um, as far as you know, Vera goes, um, your mulligans. If you have any uh, saws in your graveyard, you always want to you know always want to put them back because your uh, smart opponent will try to get rid of saw immediately and as soon as possible so you want to always make sure you have saws in the deck to call, to call from your uh from your card skills mainly your grade three um next as far as putting things back you want to put uh martina and gaston's back and then triggers if you have them um it's so a good thing about this is you can put triggers back as well so you know say you are, you don't have any saws in there you can put a trigger back and then you can put um or Martina or Gaston or you know maybe one of your counter charges if you don't have those um, but as far as that goes you know you want to always like prioritize putting back saws if you don't if you don't if you have any in your graveyard here and next I want to go over triggers um, so you start from my deck profile I am playing split triggers here um, you could always just play uh, four of the grade three heal if you like um, like I said my deck profile I was opting over, you know, I was going for more of a balance between consistency and versatility. And I, you know, I felt like later on in the game, it's just, I felt having 20k shield was a little bit better. But like I said, you can always play this four of the grade three, uh, grade three heal, still a really good card. Um, it's really good for your opponent, you know, for opponent that you know, push. But I, I tend to try, try to gauge my opponent. If I know my opponent rushes and I get this in my first hand, I normally try to keep this card. Uh, I mean, if I... If my opponent rushes and I have the grade three heal in my hand, I normally try to keep that card, you know, just to mitigate the rush. Um, if not, I just put it back. And then I have uh, the 
Crit Sentinel as well. I know some people don't like, you know, the Crit Sentinel. But I feel like since this deck is pretty aggro and you get that third check, uh, I always rather see crits. So I run a lot more crits. Um, you can always get rid of these in this run too of the uh, draw PGs if you like. Next order, bitter, uh, next order of business is my heals. I mean my um, gifts. In this deck, I found it very effective to run uh, <clears throat> to run imaginary gift force two. Um, there are some instances where you want to ride force one as well, um, but those are very few and far between. Um, it's very imperative that when you do ride in the grade three and you have uh, and you're getting your force your force two, you don't put it on your, you don't put it on your vanguard. You put it on your rear guard, and you want to put it on a rear guard where you'll have soul. Just because if you uh, if you get a Martina from your mill effects or your search effects, you can have two rear guards that have uh, plus two damage or uh, extra crit instead of just one. So I, I, I normally opt to put it on um, whatever rear guard that I have soul that'll have saw, and then I have an open rear guard that um, just for you know the the off chance I get Martina. So you do have um, uh, options when it comes to taking damage. Now you can take less damage. Now you can take less damage just because you have this um, counter charger for the deck here. I know people opt to like try to keep this as a booster, but um, if the chance ever comes up for you to counter charge, always take the counter charge because you never know when your opponent is going to try to damage to not you. So you know if you get to grade three and you use your Saul effect and you use your Vera effect. And you have this left, just pop it. Just just go ahead and pop it and, and give yourself a damage because um, a smart opponent, you know, if they know they have a weak turn, they'll just try to attack into your rear guards and then don't give you any damage. If you don't have any face up damage, always just take the counter charge. Um, another alternative I want to go over was. Um, Just the uh, uh, extra ride target as far as grade, uh, as far as grade threes go. Um, if you look at my vet deck profile, you know I run four of the Martina. Um, but with Vera being my main ride target, riding Martina is just not the way to go. Um, that pretty much guarantees you a loss because she doesn't really do anything. Um, minus her, you know, rear guard skill. Um, if you want, and I'll probably try this myself. Um, you can take two Martina out and then display a, a white Lily Musketeer Celia, display two of her. So instead of playing four Martina, the one that gives you plus 5k and extra crit, you can play two Martina and play one of the Cecilia. Um, uh, she says, act once per turn on Vanguard here. You counter blast one and retire a rear guard. Look at top five call, um, look at top five cards from the top of your deck. Call two from among them to R and then shuffle your deck. If your soul has a grade three, Call up to three instead, and three of your units in the front row get plus 10k. Um, so, you know, just in case you don't get Vera first turn, you know, you always have her. Or, you know, say you're in a later part of the game and you just don't have a saw and you want to be able to get the full effect off, you can always use this as far as as far as far just being like a game finisher here. Um, having that extra drive makes Vera just better. But if you don't have Vera, this is just another way to have a strong grade three turn instead of riding Martina. So if, if you wanted to try, and I'll probably try this myself, you can take out two Martina and play two uh, White Lily Musketeer Cecilia. Next, I'll go over. I'll just do a demo going first. Actually, I want to go over my mulligan first, actually. So I'll just grab some cards here.
Okay, so going first, this will probably be the most optimal hand. Um, minus uh, Cecilia. Um, she is one of the more flexible spots here. Um, you can either have her or one of the grade three uh, or one of the grade three heels um, to you know stop pushing if you know your opponent pushes. Um, but this is your primary ride target for grade one. Going first, she gives you one token, and then going second, she gives you two tokens. This here being your uh, primary ride target for grade two. Um, you, you know, you counter blast. You get rid of a token or whatever unit that you have on the side here, and then you look up top three and you call two two musketeer cards. Uh, really good for pushing. Saw, this is really good for grade three, so you normally hold on to this for, uh, until you get to grade three. Your primary ride target, and then you have Cecilia here. I have Cecilia just because um, she is just like a, a one card combo, basically. So, say you ride into grade three and um, you want to use her skill. If you play Cecilia, she automatically gives you a plant token, and then now you, uh, your um, Vera's effect is turned on, only using one card. Um, but like I said, she's kind of flexible. Um, it's either between her or your grade three, <clears throat> uh, your grade three um, heel trigger. If you don't have this for grade, if you don't have this for grade one, the only uh, your secondary ride target for grade one would be Mirka. Here, uh, she sold blast one and gra uh, grabs you a plant token. Not only that, on rear guard, when something's called in front of her, she gets plus 3k herself, so she gets pretty big. Um, so if you don't have her, then having her is just uh, having her is the next best thing here. Um, it does use soul though. I mean, so it kind of conflicts with Saul's um, ability here, and you don't have any way to get soul, you know, other than like rewriting. So if you do get uh, Ruth, you want to ride Ruth. This is just a secondary thing. Um, you want to try to keep your soul. But during turn two, you always want to have one unit to be able to retire for either one of these effects here. Um, say during grade two, you don't have any, um, you don't have any rear guards to retire. You could always um, ride Sylvia first, get you a plant token, and then you can ride uh, Torre because her effect is on VRR. So you can write Sylvia, get you a plant token, and then play her, and then still proc her effect. But during your turn to, you know, turn, to turn, you always want to have at least one card to be able to um, to snipe for your card's effects. So now I'll go over just a quick demo. This is going first. So actually, for this exercise, I'll be doing I'll be going second just because um, you won't be able to proc your Vanguard's full effect unless your opponent's Vanguard is on grade three. So just for this exercise in, in general, um, I'll be going I'll be doing the going second here. So I draw five um, five return here. Do a mulligan. Let's see what we got here. So this is not a very good hand starting off. Um, the only thing I would say keep for this is Saul. Um, while she is your primary ride target, you always have, a, you always have another chance to just draw uh, draw to her again. Um, but what's what's really important, obviously, when, you go, when you're um, doing your mulligan, is having a one, two, and three. 
Um, I do have, uh, you see here that I do have a grade three, but this is the worst possible wire target that you can have. So I will be putting her back. Um, I'd rather, I'd much rather just, you know, um, chance on drawing into my grade three. Uh, other than that, I'll just G assist for it. You know, this is just absolutely the worst thing ever. I would not want to keep this. So I'll be putting four back. Not be drawing four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Perfect. Perfect. So much better. So you don't have your counter charger. You don't really have a way to um, get a token, which is quite unfortunate because you won't be able to proc either of these two skills unless you draw into it. Um, uh, draw into it later on in a game here. So going first here, I have my grade one. You know, I got my grade three. And I got my primary arrival target for grade two, so this is going good. The only problem I have is just not having a card that will give me a plant token, but I might draw into it, so you know, just stay tuned for that one. So, this is drawing for turn here. Crit Sentinel, not the greatest here. So, I'll ride grade one, and I'll draw a card and get a quick shield. Okay, so now this is perfect. Doing my grade three turn, I mean, doing my grade two turn, I can play Cecilia. She'll give me, she'll give me a plant token, and then I can play this. I can counter blast and then uh, snipe. So my problem with grade one, I didn't have anything that'll get me a plant token, but since I have this now, this will get me a plant token. So I played into grade one. I'll attack my opponent. The hero. Now I have a whole bunch of these, but it's never not a good idea because now I have my revise for you know putting my force two markers on. Okay, next turn your opponent attacks. So you always want to have at least two damage during your grade three turn. So I'll take this damage here. Critical trigger, and then I'll draw for my turn. Stand and draw. Grade two. So, like I said earlier, you always want to have um, a plant token on your grade two turn to be able to use your snipe effect. So, first, I'll be using Cecilia here, and she'll give me a plant token. Put it right here under the Vanguard. And then I'll play Tor right here and use her skill. I will counter blast one and snipe this. So look at top three. One, two, three. And I call uh, uh, two musketeer cards. So I only have one. I'll put this here. And you put these down here at the bottom. So this is pretty good as a rush. So I have uh, Cecilia here. And she gives a plant token, which she's called. Um, you can put it under any side, really. It doesn't really matter. Um, but here you have a decent push. You will notice that I did not play Saul this turn. Just because, like I said, Solace is very important for your grade three turn and um, proccing your grade three's effect. Um, and you don't want to, you know, get smacked or um, or rammed into. So I will attack in the Vanguard. Or actually, I'll attack with here first, just in case they get a trigger. And I still have a chance to get a trigger with this one. Attack with this one. Drive check. Critical trigger. Okay, here. All effects here. And that's in here. 
and turn. I got two damage. Stand. Then I'll draw. Okay, so see you. Now, parking uh, now using Cecilia's uh, gifts. I normally like to put the gifts on uh, the spot where I'll put Saul. So, say I'll just put Saul. Mm, let's see what I got in my hand here. So, I don't have any boosters. Mm. I will put this probably right here. So using Vera's effect, I camera pass one, and I will retire two. And I'll put I'll put these at the bottom of the deck here. Look at top five, and then call two musketeers. So I have Mirka here. And um, Cecilia here, and I'll put these back. I'll shuffle. Now I put the first two over here on the Saul row, just in case I would have uh, got a, a a Martina off of this effect here. And then I could have had a, I could have had two rolls with this, um, with two crit. Mm -hmm. Using uh, Sylvia's skill, I get another plant token here. Then I'll play Grade Two Saul. When he's placed, I'll solve last one. And snipe one of the tokens here. I'll snipe this token here. And I'll check top three. Two, three, and call one. Call this one here. So it was really unfortunate because I was looking forward to um, getting a uh, trigger with this effect. Because with this effect, I can counter blast one and then give it to my Vanguard, and then my Vanguard gives it to the whole front row. But this is fine as well. Um, this will probably be the best target I want to say let me see what I have in my hand I'll probably say this will be a best target seeing as you know this will be a, a really strong column here to attack with later on um, having an extra Saul is probably not a bad idea as well um, if you want you can call Saul and then uh, try to do it again um, so maybe let's try to do that I'll call Saul here, and I'll put these at the bottom. Using faults, using Saul's effect again. Saul blast one, and then I'll snipe this. Top three, one, two, three. Way better. Okay, so let's say we use uh, Saul's skill. Put that there. Contrabast it to use the effect here. I'll put a crit here and put 10k here. And so now my whole front row has 10k because of the grade 3 skill. And I have Saul. So looking at our hand, see if we want to do anything. This is probably it. Because we called uh, two musketeers, and because we called two musketeers, she gets an extra drive. Uh, and this card here gets plus 3k for calling something in front of it. Mm. Two. Three. 
So we'll push, uh, swing in with Vanguard for 23. Get the extra drive check. One, got the critical trigger. All effects here to the Vanguard, and you'll give the, depending on whether they guarded this or not, you can give it to the Vanguard, I'll give it to one of the side columns here. Uh, we'll say they guarded this, and we'll give it here. Second check, nothing. Third check, nothing. Now, you didn't really have to worry about, you know, um, your columns, because this unit gives the front row the power. So in this column here, we have 15, tw we have 15, 25, 35. And in this column here, we have 21, 31, 41. So this to be in the biggest. So you attack on this one first. 15, 21, 31, 41, uh, 21, 31, 41. So that's the end of the video, guys. That was just a, just a brief you know, demo going second and how the full effect is supposed to work. I um, hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please leave it in a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye.